All right. So next we're going to do is skin the bones to the mesh. Incidentally, you should probably save as something by now. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, so hit tab to get into object mode. And we're going to click on the mesh and then shift and click on the bones. And then we'll go object, parent, parent with empty groups. And then here, I want to choose with empty groups. Perfect. Now, I also want to get rid of this, um, this setup right here because that way I can uh, have full view. So I'm going to say right click here and join area. And then I'll point the arrow this way and then click. That's how you change your layout. So you just skin the mesh to the bones. Good job. Now we have to skin the model to the bones. <laughs> so uh, I'll try not to get too technical on this, but there are vertices, and the vertices need to be assigned to each bone. That simple. So to get started, we need to know the bone name. Here's the fastest way I, I can think of, and fastest not always the best, you know, slow and steady and easy to explain is, in my opinion, probably a lot easier for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and there's these little dog bones. And for every dog bone, there's a plus mark. And every plus mark, I'm going to make sure that I can have the full view here. Okay, so there's no more little plus marks. That way, if I click on a bone, so what I'm going to do is hit tab. You notice that this all shrinks up. You see it? So I don't want to hit tab too many times. So I'll be in pose mode. In pose mode, I can highlight these bones just well enough, just like that. Unfortunately, there's no, like, expand tree that I know of. Let's test it out. So what I want to do is highlight a different bone, and look at that. The bones stay true, and what happens is one of these bones will be highlighted. Root 10. This one, root 11. Good. So now if I go into the mesh and hit tab, I should now be able to go into here. So this was, you're going to be constantly switching back using the, the tab button. This was root 11. So tab to get into edit mode. Practice switching between the two just for a second. So tab, bone, tab, object, tab. See how you can't really screw it up too much. Okay. So L on the keyboard. I know this bone is 11. So I go down here and assign it to 11 and hit assign. This is a little button right here. Okay, I have to do that for every bone. So here's, here's where I'm going to go. Tab. Click on a bone. Find out what its name is. Root 1. Okay. Tab. Tab. Now for this 
when I, I don't have a vertice to highlight, so I'm going to hit s the face. And I'm going to keep in face mode. It's a little easier. So L. What I want to do is hit L just on this one part. And that is root 0, 0, 001. And hit assign. Okay. Next bone. Root 13. Root 13. Now I often use the term meditative. Okay. <laughs> it's a, I don't know if that's a real word or not, but I would say a meditative operation is anything that you can do without thinking. And what happens here is I'm just going to be keep repeating this over and over, over and over again until it's done. So if you don't want to hear that, I would totally fast forward a little bit. And this video is going to be rather long because really I'm just going to walk myself right through this. This one's root 14. Now I'm going to assign it to this bone right here. It's a little easier to remember. Root 3. Okay, and here's another little shortcut. If that is root 3, I need this one to be root 4 and then root 5. Now let's try that theory out. Yep, so it's a chain, then root 6, root 7. So here's root 5. Six and seven. And this one, nine. Nineteen. Seventeen. If you turn it into a mental game, it's not so bad. Four. Now you see why I picked an easy layout. That way you don't drive to my house and then take me out. <laughs> All right, we're going to test the design out. Um, and in order to do that, I'm just going to click on a bone. And I should be able to rotate this bone. I'm going to hit undo when I do it though and it rotates the entire design. Okay, It missed that one chunk so control Z and then I know that one chunk has to be assigned yet. So 21. Alright, you just skinned a model to an armature. 
that's something most um, animation students have a trouble with. So don't feel bad if you do have problems with it. But it's a very simple design and you should get through it. So meet me in the next video.